。教えるって英語で何て言うんでしょうか実はこれは日本人がよく間違えるところです。例えば、Can you teach me your phone number? えとか、Can you teach me your name? えとか、I'll teach it to my friend. あ、uh, okay. みたいなよくある場面です。その言い方ってなぜおかしいでしょうか教えるを英語で何と言うと自然に聞こえるんでしょうか皆さんこんにちは。u c o n n e c t の朝です。今回の動画では1、日本人がなぜ教えるの英語の言い方をよく間違えるか。2. 教えるを teach と言うとおかしくなる理由 3. 教えるの英語の自然な言い方をご紹介しますよろしくお願いしますピティン Oshiru is a word that people use very often in Japanese. And I think I use it almost every day. And when I first learned the word Oshiru in Japanese, I was taught that the word meant teach. So if they're two different words, why does the translation say teach? Let's look at the reason together. 1. 英語の言い方をよく間違えるか。Because 教える is one word, when people want to say 教える in English, they want to have another word. This is something that people do when they're learning languages, not just a Japanese problem. But English language is not about just saying words, it's about sharing messages. And actually, teach and 教える have different messages. Let's look at the difference together. に教えるを teach と言うとおかしくなる理由。まずは教えるのメッセージを考えましょう。教えるっていうことをイメージしたらどのようなイメージが湧き上がりますか教えるのメッセージは相手が知らない情報を相手に伝えることです。For most people, when they hear the word 教える they think of a teacher and a student and maybe the teacher is sharing Information to the student. But there's also a different message in Osieru. Even when it's not a teacher and a student, there are cases where you use the word Osieru, like Namayo Osieru koto, Bango Osieru koto, Michinori Osieru koto. It's quite a flexible word. But what about the word teach in English? Actually, I looked up the Ego Go Genji t e online because I'm a language nerd. Gengo Otaku. Honto da yo, Gengo no koto ni natta ra, Hanashi ga toman naku natte s h i m a i And I found out that the word teach in English comes from the old English word te, 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 chan, te, te, chan, I guess, which originally just meant to share information or to caution someone or make them. Aware of something important. At the online dictionary, you provide me with so much joy. I love you so much. Can I, can I, can I, give, you, can I give you a hug?、Uh, how do I do this?、Uh. But today, the word teach has a much more narrow meaning. The image of teach is to share information with someone that they will use in getting a skill or to benefit themselves. In a teacher student relationship. <laughs> the important thing to focus on is one, student teacher. Two, using the information to make their lives better. And because there's this teacher student image in the word teach, when you use the word teach, it means someone is above and someone is below. And so, of course, teachers teach. Teachers teaching teaching lessons to teachers. Well, that's a lot of teach in one sentence. By the way, does anyone else think the word teach sounds strange? It just doesn't sound natural. Teach. And in Japanese society, the word teacher, sensei, has a very high kind of erai meaning to it. And that's why oshieru is often translated as teach. Not just in the case of teachers, when someone is above and they share important information, that is also using the word teach. So religious leaders teach. And when someone has more experience than you and you should follow them, then you also use the word teach. And this is why using the word teach the same way you use the Japanese word oshieru sounds strange sometimes. If you meet someone for the first time and you say, I will teach you my name, the feeling is that you think you're above the other person. I'm so special, I will teach you my name and you'll be more happy. I almost sounded like Donald Trump there. Or if you say, Teach me your phone number. The other person will think that phone number is not that complicated. It's just remembering information. When both people are on the same level, or the information isn't meant to be used as much as it is to be memorized, 
then we can't use the word teach. Or if we use it, it'll sound strange to lots of people. じゃあその場合、教えるは英語で何て言うんでしょうか ?3。教えるの英語の自然な言い方 ?When you're teaching a skill or important information to use to someone else, normally you use the word teach. But when you're just friends, it's a casual situation and it's really just about remembering information. You can use the word drumroll. Tell. Tell originally comes from the word tail, kataru. And it just means to share information or a story without all the extra image meaning that teach has. That's why in the Backstreet Boys song, they say, Tell me why. <laughs> Because in that song, a guy is talking to his koibito. They're on the same level. And he just wants to know the reason. So he uses the word tell. So when you're talking with your friends and you want them to share information with them, and in Japanese you'd normally say, Oshiete, you can say, Tell me. Like in sharing personal information. Can you tell me your phone number? Can you tell me his name? Can, can you tell me his name? Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Or in general information that may be important to know. Can you tell me where the bank is? Can you tell me where the bank is? Okay, sure. That's right there. Oh, right there. Okay, thanks. Can you tell me how to get to the store? Or when you want to know stories or something that happened, you can say, Tell me what happened. That's me. Tell me what happened. Nothing happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And also, when you want to say something like, Ato de oshieru ne, you can say, I'll tell you later. So let's look at the key points again. Oshieru just means to share information, but teach means to share important information for a skill or for the person's benefit in a teacher student relationship. And so if it's a formal setting where someone is above and someone is below and someone is learning important information, then you can say, Teach. But in casual situations where people are on the same level and it's just learning information, not really using it, you can say the word tell. Okay, so now we've looked at this information, but how are you able to actually use this information? Oku no kata wa YouTube to ka de ego taksan benkyo s t e r no desu ga, ikinari gai koku jin to chokumen s t a r a I love Japan and I want Japanese people to use English to talk to foreigners and share Japan with the world. This is why YouTube is a lot of content and a lot of content. If you want to learn more about what we're doing or maybe join what we're doing, you can click the link up here or you can click the link in the description box below. As always, enjoy your English adventure. 一緒に世界とつながりましょう日本人がなぜ落ち,落ちえる言語の話になると話が止まんなくなっちゃいます。あれなんかなっちゃいます。なっちゃいます。話が止まんなくなっちゃう。<笑> Can you teach me your phone number? You already know it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're married. <笑>